Hi, I'm Becky McDicken with the Pennsylvania Department of Banking and Securities. And I'm Holly Chase with the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency. What you're about to watch is a training for counselors from the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industries Office of Vocational Rehabilitation on the contents of Sense and Sensibility, a Guide to Money Management. Sense and Sensibility is a financial education program developed by the Pennsylvania Assistive Technology Foundation, or PATF, and specifically designed for people with disabilities. The program addresses basic money concepts and unique financial concerns of people with disabilities as they make the transformation to independence. The content is available in a booklet form and has a companion website, senseandsensibility.us. The original training was two hours in its entirety, but has been broken up into chapters for your viewing convenience. We encourage you to follow along with the booklet in order to get the most from the videos. If you need a copy of the Sense and Sensibility booklet, you can download it from PATF's website at patf.us or order a hard copy by calling 888-744-1938. The first copy is free. For further questions, you may contact me at PHFA at 717-780-3852 or hchase at phfa.org. Or me at 717-214-4755 or bmacdicken at pa.gov. Thank you. Great, thank you. Um, and I would like to extend a special thank you to Denise uh, Virchamak and Sarah Gales for asking us to present today and for handling all the, the technical issues um, surrounding this. And we're really happy to bring to you today a financial education resource designed specifically with individuals uh, with disabilities. You may ask yourself, why is this important? And first of all, um, money is a stressor for all of us and especially with individuals with disabilities who have very unique needs. And as we are uh, moving towards a culture of uh, working and independence, it's really important that, that there are these resources out there designed for people with disabilities. So with that, let's take a look at the Sense and Sensibility um, book. As you see, this is the, a cover shot from from the booklet. We will be referring to it today. Uh, if you don't have it, that's okay. As, as Sarah was saying, you can um, follow up afterwards. And uh, what's really important about this is there are key financial information, tips, um, as long, uh, as well as uh, activities that you can work with your client. In addition to that, there is a sister website called Sense and Sensibility, which has all of the information in the booklet online. So this gives you, will give you an opportunity to not only study the booklet, but also with some of the resources online, you'll be able to work with your client and have, um, you know, have additional uh, materials and worksheets to, uh, to work with them in bulk, if you will. So as I said uh, before, um, what, are, what are we doing here today? Well, our objective is to look at the basic concepts in the booklet, and we'll be talking about money values, mapping your money, we'll be looking at some banking basics, and saving and borrowing. And really, it's, we want you to understand the information that's in here so, so that you'll be able to work directly with your clients. We also want you to, to look at and learn about some of the work incentives out there and um, again, especially with individuals with disabilities, it's, it's possible to do that. Um, we'll also want you to become familiar with some of the methods of funding assistive technology for your customers. And then, of course, we're going to talk about additional resources. So again, we already talked about why this is so important. This is something that you can work with, uh, with your clients or with your cu customers. So what we're going to do today to start the conversation, we're going to go to the first poll everywhere question. Again, this is completely voluntary, but to start the conversation, in one word, describe the best $50 you've ever spent. One word. Wine. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Pants. That's a good thing. <laughs> Lottery. Loans. Okay. Video games. Filet steak, I'm, ass I'm assuming that's a good meal here. Video games. 
A massage, I like Ooh. that too. Dinner, hairstyle. Steak, steak keeps coming up again. There's a theory here. <laughs> Red meat. A theme. Okay, anything else? Okay, so great. Thank you for sharing the best $50 that you've ever spent. Now we're going to take a look at the worst $50 you've ever spent. So that's the second mm. question. One word, the worst $50 that you've ever spent. How about a spending regret? Have you had a spending regret? Well, here, let me share one of, <laughs> one of my uh, spending regrets with you to give you an idea. Do you guys know what potato hands are? <laughs> Never hear of them? Well, there are these blue silicone gloves that have little nubbies on the fingers. And uh, at the time, my son was very young and loved mashed potatoes, but I hated peeling the potatoes. So you're supposed to put these gloves on and just kind of whoosh the potato around and it peeled them for you and everything was happy and great. And well, you have to cook the potatoes first. And when you're going like this with a hot cooked potato, it becomes mush. It wasn't like that on the infomercial, I swear. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's one of my many money mistakes. What about you? Anyone want to share? I did, but nothing's coming through. Nothing's coming through. A ticket? A, a ticket, a, like a speeding ticket. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Sweets? Probably food. Booze? <laughs> Booze? <laughs> QVC. QVC. <laughs> QVC, right. Another hairstyle. A hairstyle, yeah, there you go. The dentist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what else we got? Jewelry. Jewelry. Fees, yep, fees, good. Late fees. Ticket, late fees, Diet. right. Yeah. Diet, sure, <laughs> sure. Anything else? A pedicure, Ooh, okay. Fees, seems to be a theme here. Okay, so we, we did this little exercise. Why, what is the value in doing something like this? I'll give you the answer. The answer <laughs> is that this shows us that we all have a capacity to make really good money choices for ourselves. I think you said that, you know, you proud of some of the choices that you've made. And we all have the capacity to make so not good money choices. So when we're working with our customers, think about their money choices. Do you think they can make good money choices for their situation? Absolutely. Can they make not so good money choices for their situation? Absolutely. We're all sort of in the same boat together when it comes to money. It doesn't matter you know, what you know, who you are, we just all have these challenges and we're all sort of on the same playing field when it comes to money. I'm going to turn it over to Becky now. Okay.